I do it because I generally want to see people win. Yes. Like I really want to see people operate in their best self. Yes. And uh, someone was saying, you know, you know, you should have a business and this and that. Mm. And when you try to put a dollar to that, I'm like, well, no, like if I know something, I'm just going to put the people together. Yeah. Like if I'm in a room and it makes sense to say, hey, this person will be perfect. Yeah. Why would I not do that? Like yes. to me, that just blows my mind. Yeah. Um, and so I just want, I just want to see everybody win. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, guys? And welcome to another episode of It's Giving. I am your host, Sarah Fontenot. And if you have not yet, hit that button below and make sure to get subscribed, share, like, and hit that little bell so you get a notification with each new piece of content. We are always bringing the truth. We are bringing real, raw, dynamic conversations with the intention of healing. So if that's for you, make sure to get enrolled below. Now, today, I have to tell you guys, I am always bringing incredible people to have incredible conversations with. And today, I did not disappoint, okay? This woman is absolutely incredible, absolutely stunning on the inside and out. She is the host with the most on the radio, hits 92.3. She's out here killing it. One of the most connected, grounded, kind, loving, compassionate women I've ever had the opportunity. She is championing for women all of the time, always empowering others to be and do their best. Can we please give it up for Tay? Ah! <laughs> so I think I hey, need girl. to do my intro all the okay, time. Okay, I feel, okay. I feel okay. like it was given. It was definitely given. It was definitely given. Oh my God. I'm so happy to have you here. Oh, thank you for the invite. And you said yes. Anything, you, anything. I'm still just like, anything. she said yes. Of course, of course. It's a little nerve wracking because it's like, I'm getting interviewed. Like, I'm like, getting do the interviewed. Interview, but it's just like talking to you. So it's be fine. Yeah, it was just girl, two girls on a couch. Yes, you know? on a nice couch. Oh, so you know, it's a little, it's, it's a little. It's a, it's a, it's a really razzle dazzle. A little razzle dazzle. It's a lot of razzle dazzle. You know? It is, it is. I love it. So I have to ask you. If this chapter of your life were called, it's giving blank and you have to fill in the blank, what would it be called? And you have to say it's giving. It's giving answered prayers. Oh, I love that. That's what it's giving. Break that down. So um, I would say over the last three years, it's been a lot of praying and asking God, like, do you hear me? You know mm. how you get to that point yes. where you're like, do, are you listening, God? Because mm. maybe I'm not using the right words, mm. but are you listening? Because mm -hmm. I need you to do it for me. And uh, right now things have just been, it's just been answer prayers um, in so many ways. Even, even the fact that I realize now that the prayers that I prayed that weren't answered the way that I want mm. them to be, we're actually still protecting me. Yes. Yeah. In the best way. Yeah. And sometimes we say that. Yeah. And that's like the church, you know, that's it's, like the thing to say. Right. But for real, for real, if you're real, you're like, I hate mm, this. That part. Like, I hate I, I every part attitude. of it. Yeah. yeah this is, like this this is terrible. Yeah. And so yeah. I, I'm at a place now where I can say it's it's giving answered prayers and open opportunity. Like, it, it's my time. So yes. It's my time. It's my time. I love that. And it, it's funny because I always think about, like, connect the dots, yeah. right? Yeah. And yeah. it's literally only when you have the dots, which I believe are the pivotal points of, mm -hmm. of change, right? You're shifting mm -hmm. the direction that right. things are going. Sure. Only when you have all of the pivotal points can you look back and say, oh, my God, it's a dog. Oh my God, it's a fire truck. You know, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm literally connecting yeah. the dots and now it's a thing. So I love that because when I'm in it, fetal position really just seems ideal, to be honest. Right. Like I, in the bed. In don't the answer bed. The phone. I don't like, want to talk to anybody. Mm -hmm. I just, I don't want to do nothing. Like mm -hmm. I, I just actually want to be by myself. Yeah. And I've had those moments. So, oh. you know, I'm, I'm going to keep it all the way 100. I've had them this year, but when I got out of it, God show me something else. And so that's why I'm saying, mm. like, you know what? I'm like, God, just answer my prayer. You got to show me something. Yes. Like, you got to give me something. Yes. Because I don't know. Maybe this ain't for me. Yeah. And he did just that. And mm. then it's just been trickling. So, yeah. I love that so yeah. So, 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 so much. I had that a lot of 2023. Mm. I, 2023 was like the year God was like, oh, that was my job year, actually, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 
I love that. Yeah. So I have to ask you because, Tay, one of the things I know about you is no matter what, you are so positive. Mm-hmm. You are intentionally just intentionally positive, optimistic, loving, kind, empowering. Even if you were to try to like, now don't get me wrong. I know you can knock if you buck. Right. <laughs> but I do feel like inside of just how you constantly show up, how do you do that? Even just saying like the last three years, you were mm-hmm. like, what is going on? But yet you still show up as this incredible, mm-hmm. positive, optimistic person. I really think that to be honest, I try to show up the way that I would want people to show up for me, Mm. you know, Um, because when you are by nature a person that always pours into other people, you don't always get that. Mm. And uh, it could be a very lonely place when you just want people to cheer for you as much as you would cheer for them. Mm. Don't make me cry. Look, I got Q-tips right here. Um. And so one thing that I, I know, right? Yeah. Ooh, you better have the Q-tips because my makeup artist will mm-hmm. be like, girl, get your life. Girl. Um, but one thing that I will say publicly on It's Giving, um, one of the reasons why I love you so much is that when I first met you, you said, I reached out to you and I said, hey, I have a radio show. I would love to have you on. And you said, yeah, you know, let's connect X, Y, and Z. And people say that all the time. Um, and it was when your father mm-hmm. was uh, going through and genuinely, I didn't know you from anybody, but I understood how it is to have a sick parent. Mm. And just for a minute, like, let's just check on her to mm. make sure she's good and our energy's connected. And uh, you always say, what can I do for you? <laughs> you always say that. And that's something so minor. But um, it makes me rock with you to the point where nobody. Uh-huh. Where can I look at the camera? <laughs> you better not come. Your you camera. better not come from this one right here because you gonna see me. And all I'm gonna do is change my hair and I'm gonna be different. So you won't even know it was me. <laughs> you will not know that it's me. That's me. But I um I just appreciate that because again, I just want people to show up and just. Don't call and ask for anything. Mm. Just what can I do for you? What do you need? And um, so that's why I always try to say, you know, I always say to myself, because people don't really know what somebody's dealing with. Yeah. We can social media, we can look good, take a cute picture, but people don't know that you didn't took about 500 pictures just to get the um, right angle period. Um, before, but all they see is, oh, you know, she's always so this and that. Mm-hmm. And they don't know that it can get tough sometimes. And sometimes I don't want to be. So I'm a person where if my energy is off, I will isolate myself Mm. because I understand that God gave me this gift Mm. and I can't, I can't show up not being a light. Mm. So I just fall back, you know, and people don't get it because they're like, well, we want to be, but that's, you know, that yeah. sometimes that can be difficult. I agree. Yeah. I, I definitely agree because I'm, it's like I am a reflection of you. So what you see in me is obviously yeah. what you know yeah. of yourself. Yeah. And, you know, that's the same way you are. You don't ask for anything. It's always like, how can I give? Let me connect you. Hey, do you want to come to this? Hey, I got this going on. Yeah. Like you're always so... And I think that's why I appreciate you so much, Tay, because you're just so real, raw, and authentic. And it's so genuine. Like, it's I think so that, I think genuine. People don't, um, I do it because I generally want to see people win. Yes. Like, I really want to see people operate in their best self. Yes. And uh, someone was saying, you know, you know, you should have a business and this and that. And mm-hmm. when you try to put a dollar to that, I'm like, well, no. Like, if I know something, I'm just going to. Put the people together. Yeah. Like if I'm in a room and it makes sense to say, hey, this person will be perfect. Yeah. Why would I not do that? Like yes. to me, that just blows my mind. Yeah. Um, and so I just want, I just want to see everybody win. Yeah. And uh I think sometimes people are like, Well, why are you so nice to me? Mm, and it's so sad be? that people really think, and it's not even an ulterior, like it's so not an no, it's who you are. Yeah. It's and, literally and, ingrained in who you are. But mm-hmm. I think so many people are used to fake at this point that, that they don't know what to do with real. Mm. You know, so many people are are used to the backstabbers, the gossipers, mm-hmm. the speculators, mm-hmm. the, you know, oh, I'm gonna show up, and then they don't. They're just right. so used to the disappointment that yeah. when something shows up for real, now they're looking at it funny. 
you know, and I, and have you ever experienced that people don't know how to really handle you or hold for you because Mm -hmm. you are such a genuine person? Mm -hmm. I think that people, I think that what happens is when I realize that the person, sometimes I'm so quick to see the good in the person and I may not see Mm that they have an ulterior motive or that may be their intentions because I go in thinking the best Mm. out of everything. Right. And so when I see something or um, it shifts for me in my spirit or in my energy and I fall back, then people quit. They're like, well, why are you acting different? But I'm not. Mm. It's just, well, I am, but it's because I have to, because I've got to protect your peace. My peace. And this year is really about boundaries. Even with my family, like I love my family and I'm sure they might see this, <laughs> but I love them to the fact that I have to separate myself mm. because where I'm going in the season, mm. I got to be focused because I take on other people's energy. Ooh, and so if I'm in a season where God is elevating me, yes, I will get distracted by everybody else's stuff. Yes. And right now, I can't do that Mm. Um, because the purpose, I'm focusing on Tay and putting Tay first. Mm -hmm. And that's rough. Like, I'm not, like, I don't do that Mm. Um, because it's my nature to always put other people before me. Mm -hmm. So putting myself first and putting myself out there um, is different. Yeah. And people... um, I'm learning that the people that have always wanted to see me win are going to understand it. Mm -hmm. And the people that maybe I really always thought they wanted to see me win. Now I realize that they didn't. Mm. And that's a difficult space. Yeah. Because it's people that I would have laid down my life for. Mm. That aren't going to go on this journey with me. And that's hard. That can be hard. But... I realize that God has given me people that he's revealed, but he's given. Mm. And the people that he has given mm. rock with me to a different level of, it's just different. The yeah. conversations are different. Uh, the love is different. Um, it's just different. And so I'm grateful for that. How do you how do you deal with the release of people? Because I hear all the time when people are like, I don't want, and sometimes it is family. Sometimes yeah. it's best friends. Sometimes yeah. it's partners. Sometimes yeah. it's lovers. So yeah. like we don't know what it is. How did you get to a space where you were like, okay, I can release this? Mm. Truthfully, mm-hmm. you know, because we keep it real. Yeah. Um, it's hard. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not all the way. Mm. Like I have to really discipline myself to say, nope, not going to call. Mm. Nope. I see they posted on social media and I really want to dive in and give them a pep talk, mm-hmm. but I can't. Mm. I can't. Um, so it's prayer. It's, it's really praying and uh, asking for strength to be disciplined in these boundaries. Yeah. Because it's hard. Yes. It's, it's really, it's hard, um, but I know it's necessary. Yeah. And in this season- I got to do what's necessary. Yeah. I I have to. I have to because it's now or never. Mm -hmm. You know, Um, I just turned 47. Oh, where, baby? Where? 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 where, (laughs) Um, But, uh, you know, and and I've been sitting on a dream for a long time. Mm -hmm. And so right now it's like, this is personal. Like this is, this is, I'm going, I'm shifting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Get your shift together. Get my shift together. (laughs) Y'all better get y'all shift together. Yeah. Because this, I can't, I I have to, I owe it to myself. And I was uh, having a devotional the other day and it was like, why get to the end and be filled up with the things that God meant for you to, release mm, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. and so I'm sitting I'm like you know it's time to do this it's time to do that whatever those things are mm-hmm. because I don't want to get to the end of my life and get and God say well I had so much more for you to do mm. but you didn't do it because I was so busy worried about everybody everybody else, else. and so now I'm like oh no Oh my goodness. Well, I know because I know some of the background. You know, I'm like, 
<laughs> to be risking and really yeah. just bet on yourself. That in itself is scary. Very. It sounds like you're doing a lot of scary things. It is. And it that is. that deserves a round of applause. Ooh. It lives a hoo, 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 for like real. Or send your halls. Like, literally, hoo, 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 yeah, yes, yeah. because literally, most people don't do anything they're afraid of. Mm-mm. Most people, you know, it's like I want it, but I want it, but I want it, but and mm-hmm. they either stay paralyzed where they do nothing, right. or they revert back to what they used to do because it's a comfort. Right? Yes. Like, why? And I'll be honest, I've been on this journey before. Like I'm not even gonna lie. I'm like, oh, when I turned forty, I'm like, oh, I had this epiphany. I'm gonna shift my life. And then when it got too uncomfortable, I was like, well, let me go back <laughs> to <laughs> what's normal. Yeah. And so this time, just recognizing the fact that I'm not going to do it. Like, it's times where I want to. I'm like, it's of course. easier to do this. Of course. But am I going to get the same result? Mm. Yeah, probably. Mm. And I'm, I don't want the same result. So, so it's time to shift. It's time to shift. Yeah. So yeah. what is okay? So one, I'm proud of you, Thank and you. this is very exciting. It's all because of you. No, it's not. It is. Stop. Sarah, Sarah, cut it no, out. Sarah is. I'm gonna give Sarah her. It's giving flowers. Oh look, my this gosh. This decor that you got um, because uh, I went. You know, I took your. I I was there. And it shifted and I go back and I read my journal and I read the notes and I um, met some amazing people at that event that uh, were supposed to be a part of this next chapter. For yes. me. So um, I'm grateful that I stepped out of my box and said, hey, who's this girl over here? I got to, hey, I need to know her. Yeah. And from uh, just reaching out and connecting to you, a shift has happened in my life. So I, I give you credit. I will always give you credit uh, for that. That's um, you. You got to well, take credit. We, I take, you did it. I take credit, but I also give your flowers to Thank you, you. Um, because it was a lot that was going on behind the scenes on that. And so you took a chance and you shifted a lot of people's lives in that room that day. Thank you. Tay, don't make me cry. <laughs> I love this girl. <laughs> I love her so much. Oh my gosh, I love you. Okay, okay. Uh-oh, so uh-oh. I was trying to, I was trying to shift her because I keep telling y'all we own the sofa. Sarah got these cute tips. We go friend. We are ready. Okay, oh, we are. Oh, I feel it in my spirit. It's a cool cue to the music. Is this the music? Is a cue commercial. Cue commercial. Cue commercial. Right. <laughs> okay, so I have to ask you Oof. because you said 47 Oof. and fine <laughs> Say that part. baby 47 fine. and fine. fine fine like wine Oof. and i have to ask you Oof. how is dating in your 40s <laughs> what's that like <laughs> Y'all don't know that before this, I promised Sarah I would tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. It is rough out here in these 40. Dating after 40 is rough. I is somebody watching this right now that is put it in the comments. Yes. <laughs> um, because uh 40, 47, closer to 50, I keep having that realization. I don't want to have a young one. No. Because I'm not babysitting. But there are some mature young men out here. Just but I just, that's just not my thing. Is that your mom? I right. don't no, you know, no. Is that your mom? I don't want that. Yeah. No, I'm good. And then the older ones, mm. like the ones in my age, like in the age, they got more game than Parker Brothers. Ooh. And then the old ones, I said, you know what? I'm going to try me an old one. Them old ones, they got them pills and stuff now. They be want too much. <laughs> they be want too much. <laughs> Sir, I am not going to be, y'all ain't going to see me on social media, radio host, man dies on top of her, 85, <laughs> period. I'm not doing I'm not doing that. Uh-uh. We're not. We're not. So it's, it's, it's rough. It's difficult. Um, there are some good men out there. There are. Mm-hmm. Um, but ladies... We have got to set a standard. Yes. There are a lot of men um, that think that it's okay to have a wife and date a girlfriend. That's because somebody around here is, okay. is making it okay. Yep. And it should not be. Yeah. Um, it uh, is women that know that they're that that man is already in a different relationship, but yep. you're going to try it anyway. Ladies, you got to stop doing that. Mm. Um, so I think when you have a level of standard for yourself... It does appear to make dating more difficult, but I'm not, to me, like, I got friends, Mm -hmm. but I'm not, you know, I'm not going to, you're not going to have me out here looking crazy. So do you want to be married? Oh, definitely. Do you believe you will be married? Yes. How do you position yourself 
to attract your husband? I just put it out there because I feel like my husband, I have been intentional. Uh There's this wise lady that says I have to envision it every day. Come on. (laughs) I have to envision what my husband and what my married life will look like. Yes. And so for me, it's just making myself available Mm -hmm. and not trying to do everything myself. Cause that's my yes. thing. Like I think I I I, I meet nice men, mm-hmm. and when they try to do things for me, I'm like, "Why are you doing it? Yeah. What you want? <laughs> What's something you want? What's up?" Um, and so uh, I just need to. I guess they say uh, the soft life. Mm, you don't want a soft life, <sighs> no? Because I need. God is going to have a mate for me that is going to allow me to still be me and operate. Like I'm a big energy. I'm a big personality. I, to, to, to play the background. I don't think that I know that that's not the husband that God would have for me. But can't you be in the front ground with a soft life? Mm, That's a good one. Cause I'm a big personality. I'm a lot I'm to do it. Be in here cooking. You'll be. I in mean, here but wouldn't but wouldn't you be cooking? You wouldn't cook now, woman. I make a mean reservation and I watch <laughs> <a> mean plate. <laughs> That's what I do, and I need because because there's no need for me to say, oh, you know, I'm gonna make you this this and bake you a cake in a pot. Never. That's not my ministry. But what if? But what if sometimes? Oh, definitely sometimes. Okay, yeah, but yeah. it's not on not a regular. Daily. Yeah. I mean, I don't even see myself cooking daily unless there's children. But see, Sarah, you want kids and, and I'm 47. I mean, I don't know if that's going to happen I'm going to babysit Sarah's kids. <laughs> Period. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie. Auntie Tay. Tay. <laughs> right? I'm, like, I'm coming to get them. And they're yes. like, she takes us to restaurants. Yeah. That's what the kids <laughs> She takes us out to eat, and I, you know, Auntie Lauren cooks. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let him do that. But, but, so okay, okay. So, I, mm, okay. So, what if you meet mm-hmm. a man mm-hmm. that is handsome? Oh, he's gonna be handsome. That is tall. Mm. That is successful monetarily speaking. He has a good career. That makes you feel so soft and gooey. You can be all the way inside of your feminine. And one of his deepest desires is for his wife to make him a meal four nights a week. Could you do that? I have some questions. Okay. <laughs> come on. I, I, have to, I have to get some clarity because okay. you said maybe be specific. Come, come, come specific. on. Come on. Let's be specific. Okay. So when you say handsome, mm-hmm. a wise man told me mm-hmm. one time, you need a handsome man. And I said, I'm not super. I mean, you know, everybody yeah. is handsome in their own right. He said, no, you need you a man that will hand you some. Ah, get it? Ah, handsome. Oh, so with that being said, if he's monetary, because I've met some men that are monetary, got it going on, and so tight they squeak, honey. Oh. They ain't giving you nothing. Oh, so you know they always. So I, I need to make sure that okay. This let's man, say generous, generous. He's yes. generous, and I'm not a gold digger, but I'm just saying, like, I need, I need you to step up and do no, something. No, I literally just had this conversation the other day. If I, if my presence inside of a relationship mm-hmm. doesn't make you naturally want to be more, do more, have more for yourself and for me, then I'm the not the woman for you. That part. Okay, so once we clear, so naturally, that, yes. yeah. So naturally, yes. Then I would be calling everybody I know for and a saying, recipe. "Girl, give me a recipe. What is a quick recipe that I can make?" I mean, I have a staple. Yeah. Like it's a staple dinner. What's the staple? Okay, so <laughs> this is a breaking news. <laughs> but if I make you salmon, rice, and vegetables, Aww. and I put it on the little cute plate, yeah, then I like you. Oh. Because that's like my dish I can make and yeah, it's like yeah, real it's good. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Yeah. But if the man's like, I don't eat salmon, I'd be like, oh, Lord, what am I going to make for this man? Oh, I don't even eat meat. Oh, I know. I forgot. Yeah. Because somebody, I met a really, really nice guy and he's like, hey, I said, what's your favorite meal? He said steak. I said, ooh, yeah. that thing will be dry. So I, I think I'm going to go and go to a restaurant make it like have them make it and then i'll put it on a plate for him yeah and with and like then, vegetables on and the then side he'll never, a potato i'll be like yeah. this is for you, this is for you. <laughs> yeah, Yay. i mean i'll do I it if it's if it's worthy i think yeah but okay. i feel like the man that god has for me is going to cook for me he's gonna allow me to wash the dishes while okay. he cooks um you know so do you think you want a man with slightly more feminine energy than masculine energy <sighs> i can't oh. say that in a later oh we gonna say, say it, it okay yes yeah, so yeah, maybe. 
Maybe. Yeah? Maybe. Yeah, maybe I'll take that. Because men don't, they get upset when you say that. It's an energy. It, we all have both. Yeah. They Look, I've been cussed out in my comments enough to be able to clarify to y'all. <laughs> masculinity and femininity are energies. They're not genders. Okay? The so, okay, okay. So so it's like we, and, and realistically speaking, and let's, let's just be specific with this. Okay? okay so right now. She's looking it up. Look, because I get, I get so sick and tired of folks. Oh. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Because okay. you know I believe in dancing. You I know do too. the music gets it. You have a ball. Okay, yeah, so okay. masculine, mask you. Don't judge me, y'all. If you judge it, that's on you. Judge masculine you. traits, masculine energy traits, okay? Okay. So masculine and feminine. So masculine side is aggressive, independent, unemotional, objective, oh. unimpressionable, active, competitive, easy to make a decision, independent, not offended, speculative, uh, something, attention for self-appearance. I can't see it because it's behind like a little dot, but it says okay. like something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know what that is. Okay, so that's masculine. Now, feminine okay. is unaggressive, dependent. Mm. Ting. Let that sink in, ladies and gentlemen. Dependent. Now, that doesn't mean we're creating dependence inside of relationships. I'm not condoning that. I'm just telling you guys a feminine trait, okay? Um, emotional. I think I'm, okay. Subjective. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Impressionable. Mm. Mm -hmm. Passive. Uncompetitive. Difficult to make a decision. What do you want to eat? I don't know. Oh. What movie do you want to see? You choose. Mm. What color do you want the walls? Now we have all these ideas because it's flow, it's colorful, it's it's creative, right? Okay, let's keep going. Um, offended easily, non-speculative, high attention for self. High, oh, okay, so the men is low attention for self-appearance. Feminine is high attention for self-appearance. That's not men that's creative. always when we get ready to go out. It takes him longer to get ready than me. I'm I don't like, want no man that takes longer than me to get on, ready. Come on, just throw them clothes on and I let's go. I take a minute. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I, I'm... I'm in there powdering, you know, I, I do, I got the contour. I, 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 I do two different color lip liners with a gloss. Okay. Like that in itself. Cause it be given. You know, I'm, that's, what I said. that's why it's hard to have friends. <laughs> Cause I'm like, where are, where are we going? Like how, who's going to see us? Where are we going? These, I like inside. Yeah, I do like inside. I like it. So but, like inside. but with this list, do you desire to take more of the lead role in your relationship? To be honest, I do think I do. I think I do. I and I think you have just uncovered something. Okay. Because in my mind, I really think I want a masculine man. But when I get him, I'm like, oh, he's doing too much. Yeah. I don't like this. Yeah. And then the feminine, uh -huh. I feel like, okay. Because they're lovey and they're cooey yeah. and they're sweet yeah. and they're romantic and they're thoughtful. Those are all feminine traits. Yeah. Not genders. Yeah, traits. traits. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Okay. I need to change my board. Thank you, sir. Oh. I need to change the wording on my board. Okay. Because of today. Thanks. So, okay. So, okay. Okay. This is, this is getting interesting. Uh -oh. So do because you feel I really, like... Because I think... Because I always have something to say. And that the 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 fifth the the more masculine one they don't let me get the last word or they let you talk. You know, I was having a conversation. With, <laughs> no, I was having a conversation with one of my girlfriends. And she went on a date, and um, she's like, "Girl, we were there for like three hours, and he barely asked me about me." And I was like, "Oh, tell me about him, like because now I want to learn, like yeah. what what kind of man." And so after she's talking, I was like, "Oh, this is a very masculine man. Masculine energy is certain. They're 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 yeah. direct. They're yeah. this. They're that. They are not here to ask you about you. You've got to interject. Yeah, you got to. You know, yeah. you, you've got to interject the pieces of the story that are in re in relation to what it is that he's talking about, so that you can find relative points. And then over time, obviously, when they care about you." No they ask. start asking questions. But initially, it's the him show. I just be sitting listening like, oh, tell me more. And then Sarah put that smile on them and then they're like, oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, no. I'm like, what do you do? Uh-uh. No. no. Would you, okay, so like first date, would you be like credit score? What do you do? Do you want kids? Do you want marriage? Like how soon do you start getting to the nitty gritty? When should people start getting to the nitty gritty, do you think? So, because I'm 47, yes. remember yes. that part. Yes. I'm in a different dating spectrum. I don't have 
All that time. Uh huh. So I may not ask on the first date, but in the very beginning, because time, I don't want to waste your time and I don't want you to waste mine. Yeah. So if you want kids, we probably need to talk about that. Would you have kids? We'd have to adopt. Uh. Unfortunately, I'm not able to bear children of my oh. own, which is a whole nother it's giving show. <gasps> um, Wait, but- I don't feel like we can gloss over that. But and, and, well, because I can't have children, yeah. that has been something for me. And full transparency, it made me question being able to be a woman, <sighs> because you we are raised to always say, "Oh, I'm gonna have a mom. baby, and I'm gonna be a mom, yeah. and all that." And I have an amazing mother. Yeah, like my mom is like amazing. Yes, and. Uh, I just always wanted to be able to pay that forward, right? I wanted to be such a great mom like my mom Mm. was to me. And it just, I can't have children. Mm. And finding that out was very, that was like a hurtful, you know, hurtful place. Yeah. Um, Because people are like, you can adopt, you can do this. And that's great. I'm sure. um, You'll love them. That I would love them just the same. But to not be able to be able to touch my belly and know that I could feel a little flutter mm. or um, be able to experience that. Did what? Why is it that you can't? Just from, um, I was pregnant before and I was pregnant in my tubes and um, just fiber, just health things. Could you remove eggs and have a surrogate? Probably, maybe. I, you know, I, I never really asked that. I think once I found out, because to me, I wanted to do it myself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I wanted to be able to... Be pregnant. Be pregnant, you know? Like, I want to go and look on the on the sonogram and go through all the things. Mm. And, yeah, you know, I, I, <laughs> the I, breathing. I want to do all that, right? Veins popping. Oh, yeah, yes. you know, I want to be able to act a plum fool yes. um, in the delivery room. Yeah. Um, but that just wasn't my cards. And um, my Aunt Jan, God rest her soul, I remember she told me when I had found out. Um, and I was so upset. And she said, baby girl, God still, you're still going to be a parent. And I was mm. like, no, nah, no, nah, whatever. And she's like, because God intended you to be a parent to children that can't go to their parents. Mm. Because there's, and I think about my God kids and all of that. Yeah. And how they come to me and tell me stuff that sometimes I'd be like, whoo. Yeah, don't, why you tell, said that out loud. Don't tell me <laughs> this right now. Yeah, um, but I'm a safe space for kids to come to. Yes, um, and to be able to be an adult that can pour into them yeah. and give them good sound, and they feel comfortable yeah. to come to me. So, yes. um, you know, although yes, I want, I've always wanted to be a mom. Adoption, maybe if I meet that guy and he says I really want kids, I ask, are you open to adoption? Because if that's the man for me, then maybe we adopt a child mm. and, and we raise that child together. Um, but again, you know, I think you should you should talk to people up front about what they want. Mm-hmm. Because for me, I'm an emotional person. Mm-hmm. And once I rock with you and I'm connected to you, I'm connected to you. I don't want to be connected to you and later out find out that you want to have 500 kids or that you... Um, never want to travel the world. Like we need to be able to talk about those things. Cause there are certain things I'm not going to be able to compromise on. Yeah. And so I don't want to waste your time and then be like, well, you know what? I really, re- I used to date and, and flex for the person. Mm. Not anymore. Not anymore. Cause at this point I'm like, you know, Hey, if that's what you want, that's great. That's not what I want. Mm-hmm. And maybe we're just meant to be friends. So I've yeah. met some amazing guys that we started off dating but now we're just friends, mm. you know, and that's cool. Cause, yeah. You know, what is, and I wish them well when they Absolutely. get with whoever they get with. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I feel like for me, so I, I think, you know, but almost 17 years ago now, I was almost paralyzed. And so mm-hmm. my back, I am in pain every single day. And I think people just see me so high functioning mm-hmm. that they would never, never have an that. idea of what I like actually deal with on a daily basis. But even like at night, Every single night when I get into my bed and I sleep on my back, I can literally feel my spine decompressing. Mm. Like it's this, it's actually really quite relieving, but it's, it's like, I can't stand for too long or sit for too long. Mm. And if I do, it's like, like, you know, it's, it's crazy or I have to lean and do all these crazy things. Um, but it's created, I don't want to say a fear because Mm. I don't, I don't believe in fear. fear. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't live there. However, there's, there is a, 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 like, do I need to be pregnant? And then I started having very real transparent conversations with myself. Mm -hmm. And I started saying, well, 
I do want to be a mother. So there's obviously an option of surrogacy, Mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. Um, But also I start thinking about why do I want to be pregnant? Like, Mm -hmm. because surrogacy is going to give you a baby, right? In pregnancy, you get to build that bond. Mm -hmm. But outside of the bond, and this is going to be the most shallow thing that I could possibly say on the planet, but it's the truth. Outside of building that relationship with my baby, which is important, Mm -hmm. and, you know, my husband hugging my stomach and putting the headphones on and we're telling baby stories. Outside of, like, that, because I have a vision. Yeah, well, I know. I know. I see all the cops now. I already know. I see your kids. I know. I already see them. I see them. Yeah, I see them. I see them. But outside of that that part, which is the biggest part, the second most important to to me was the maternity shoot. Because it's going to be cute. Did you take some pictures? It was, it was, it was, which is so shallow and so silly. But it's what you want. But see, is it really shallow when you say what you really want? Is that really being it's shallow? Honest, because it's being honest. It's the truth. So that's all right. You I just wanted the pictures. Mouth. Some people. And then I'm like, sir, you could photo shoot a belly onto your body. If you really wanted a photo, you could do it that way it and surrogate and don't risk your back. Because my doctor told me I have the spine of someone in their sixth or seventh decade. This is like years ago. This is not new information. And um, and so he told me already. This feather is bothering me. I have oh, to thank you for fixing it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but he told me I'd be on bed rest like all of my pregnancy. And so because I had tried to get pregnant with an ex before and mm-hmm. we did all the things, go to the doctor, check all your, you know, you mm-hmm. do all the things. And um, he told me I'd be on bed rest. And I was like, ah, he don't know my God. But the way my <laughs> back has been lately, I'm like, ooh, that was years ago. And I, it's just getting more. I need to get stem cells. That's what I need to get. Oh. Are you familiar? Mm. Like, reg- I need yeah. regenerative, regenerative, regenerative yeah. cells. Because you definitely need to be a mom. Some I people, like some people, I have a girlfriend and I say this, like certain people, you meet them and you know that they're just supposed to be a mom. But maybe I'm just supposed to be auntie. No, Sarah. No? You are supposed to be a mom. <laughs> like I had a dog. Mm. And I said, oh, I want to get this dog. The dog lives with my mom now. <laughs> I cannot commit to... T- and she says, what kind of parent are you? And I literally... You know, hey, how's the dog? <laughs> hey, you know, so take, if I have a kid, I can't send the kid back. Right, right. You this know? kid is here for the for but the long haul. So I think that maybe because I'm such a free spirit, like I have moved, like I just up and I say, oh, that's me too. Let's go. Yeah, that's definitely you know. Me. But I can't be having no that. I just I get it. Like I I don't know. And then also I date older men. Right. Mm -hmm. And so inside of that, it's like, well, they probably have kids. Yeah. And maybe they're young enough. Not young. Mm -hmm. Because I don't need nobody with no young children. And that means baby mamas are still lurking. Oh, that means drama. Yeah. Maybe that's my own trauma speaking. That might have just been a little projection. That is one of my my prerequisites. Yeah, but it's kind of like, let let them, let them, I don't, I don't know. I don't know the right age, but I, I just feel like if you're older and you have children already, maybe those will get to be my bonus children. And I was married once. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out my ex. And I had a bonus son. Mm-hmm. And I love my bonus son and mm-hmm. bonus daughter. I mm-hmm. too. So it worked out. Like, mm-hmm. you know, it worked out. But, Are you still um, close to your ex? We're friends. Oh. Yeah. We're Why do you say it like that? We're friends. Because uh, even with him, he literally... He's a new father, and I'll be honest, that uh, when I found out that he was having a baby, I was in my feelings, because yeah. I'm thinking, like, baby, like, we were married before, and you said you didn't want any more kids, so what happened? Like, what's going on? Yeah. You had a baby. Um, and then it was a reminder that, you know, I can't life have kids. Be life be life be life in, right? And so, um, but we're good, really good guy. Um and that just wasn't who it was supposed to be for me. But I'm be married again. And my husband is gonna be all that. Period. He's gonna like get like Layla Hathaway is gonna sing at our wedding. Ooh. And all, like, like my husband is gonna know that I'm over the top extra. Yes, yes. And yes, he's yes. gonna give me all those things. So I don't even think you're over the top or extra. I think you're just enough. What thank you. Thank you. Thank you, friend. You're just enough. Yeah. When it comes to like that type, because my last wedding. It, it was at big. somebody's house. My reception was at a Chinese restaurant. <gasps> yeah. Would you get married at a courthouse? I would. As long as we have a turned up party. I am a partier. So I'm saying my, like, 
my reception is gonna be like this Usher show that's about to I be. know that's right. Like it's literally like it's gonna bring everybody out. We're gonna have such a good time. It's I gonna be the best right. party that everyone's gonna be like, oh, I just had that best time celebrating my love. <gasps> Let's just go have him. I love love so much. I do. And you make me this, Sarah, you are like a love, love. <laughs> I love love. Like you love love. It's like, oh, love is you're so optimistic with love. I am. Yeah, I have to that's be. That's why I, that's why I said you're gonna have a husband. You're uh, I, have a kid, I agree. And I, that. you know, I'm I'm dating you or whatever, you know. Oh, I know I wasn't gonna bring it up. But you know. Okay. But I, I also feel like um we're single till we're married. That, Amen. That's how I feel. Amen. If you like it, then you should put a ring on it. That's what Beyonce said. And, um... Ooh, did you just look down at your hand? I did. Did Sarah I just... I did. Look- you know, I'm like, oh, it's a little it's a little bear right here. But he gotta go through a whole lot of people. Like, the oh. thing is, like, it's... It's... It's hard to date you, Sarah. It is? No! I'm the... I'm such a legit, solid partner. No, no, no. You're... No, that part is not that. It's the fact that there's... We all have questions. Oh, this is true. There's different interviews that oh, they have to go through. Oh, this is very true. Before it finally is like a... Like... Okay. You know what? I gotta say this. Husband, if you're watching this show right now... Number one, I want you to know... Please take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt. Okay? Just... just but it's the truth. Okay? I learned something about myself. My parents say the darndest things because they're real people yeah. and they gonna say what they gonna say and anybody that knows my dad <laughs> I love you so much dad knows he's the most direct he's gonna say it no tact unfiltered man bold man bold yeah he's bold and he don't care he you know you know it just is what it is right. he's gonna say what he says and you know there was one time where I had a person that was around the family and, um, you know, it, was, it wasn't new, but it wasn't like, you know, he wasn't my fiance. We weren't engaged. Yeah, but we, yeah. were very, we were very seriously dating. And uh, my dad said to this man, oh, you made it this far, have you? And I'm looking at him like, did this, did you just say what I think he said? And I, so I'm just watching. And I'm not saying anything because I can't say anything. That's my dad being my dad. So I'm just sitting watching. And my dad says, uh, let me tell you something about Sarah. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> Ooh, everybody got quiet. Tell me something about Sarah. Yeah. Let's know. Yeah. He said, Sarah will seek out your weakness and then she will test it. I said, no, that can't possibly be true. This is, oh, this is so long ago. But the truth is, <laughs> that is the truth. <laughs> And the reason why is because I want to know in do we, weakest. in your do can you still hold for me? That's so not in a way where I'm disrespectful, not in a way where I'm yeah. rude or you know I'm 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 just throwing away the the roles that we've acknowledged or any of those things, but in a way very much so that it's like can you hold for me? But that's your testing to make sure. Yeah, and women test, and in, and men to. test. We are all constantly testing each other. We are just honest enough to say it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know. Um, it, but what happens if he doesn't pass the test? Have then you I, been to that? Oh, he's... Like where you really like them and then they didn't pass? Let him go, yeah. I'm going to let go queen. This is frozen. Are you a blocker? What's that mean? So, like when you're done, you're like done. So, like you're done, <laughs> you will block them, cut off all no. communication. You're not that person? No, I, there's only one person that I've blocked okay. in my life. Okay. Mostly because of the level of toxicity disrespect. Okay. and disrespect and just, I'm just not interested in any realm of like, and I mean blocked on everything, like blocked on my phone, blo- like don't, I don't want any energy, no leaky anything, Nothing. like no, mm-hmm. it's an absolute no for That's me. That's good. My aunt used to say, um, baby girl, you're not in the recycling business. Yeah, no. Because I used to be like, oh, well, I wouldn't like officially cut a relationship off. Yeah. I would just kind of like fall back from it, oh. which would mean that if anything ever happened, I could ease Go back. back in the door. Mm-hmm. Um, and she taught me, you're not in the recycling business. So once it's closed, shut that door. Shut the door. Let yeah. them be great. Let them be great. Yeah. yeah. And that's not your person. No. You know? So why force them to be something that they're not? Yeah, because they're not. Yeah. They're definitely not. And I also feel like uh, I just saw this video on Instagram and it was talking about um, leaky energy mm. makes it impossible for a person to be potent with one. Ooh. So if if you if you're allowing the leak of energy to come from others or you're leaking energy out to others, we're actually blocking 
number one, how much capacity that we have to give to one person. That's good. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Cause you're, yeah, you're not, strong. cause you're too, you're too oh, everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. It's like men that like a bunch of photos on Instagram. I can't stand it. Why? And is it, cause it must be Instagram. So when they like it, you can see like the people that you're connected to. Yeah. Cause this one guy, I'm like, you are thirsty. Thirst. Every time I go to somebody's post, you're the first little star. What do you have? Sir, work your business. Work your. What are you doing with your life? That I, part. I, and and then don't. And you know what? I I I think if it's like you know if it's a whatever photo, but if it's an attractive photo, why are you liking this girl's pictures? Not me. You ain't my man. Let me, you go do you. But it won't. But, okay. You can't come over here. So do that's another thing. Would you, if you are dating someone yeah. and they're liking the video vixen, the girl that's posting the swimsuit pic, all the I would t- never date that person. Mm. I'm not interested because you have leaky energy. Mm. And I also feel like if you are my, now you could be my friend. Yeah. And if inside of the friend time, we mm. start to see that you're, you're maturing in the sense where you don't have to leak all over the mm-hmm. internet, mm-hmm. then that's different. Mm-hmm. But dating you, you got, you need to get, go sell your oats. Go have fun with somebody else. And that's the thing. These older men, I have found that older men, not all, because I don't want to put everybody in a box. Because y'all, the giving crew, they be the comment. Like, oh, they be going my in. God. Like, sometimes I'm like, ooh, y'all be doing a little bit too much. They angry. They angry. Y'all, don't be bad at Sarah. Sarah just told you the truth. <laughs> um, but, uh, it, you know, like, you're too thirsty. And, and, I, and I think that people are thirsty like that because there's something in their childhood that wasn't resolved. Yeah, it's unresolved trauma it's, for sure. And I, and I feel like just resolve that so you can be whole. I believe that love is going to be on top again. Yes. Like I think the season of genuine people, realness, authenticity, all of that is coming back. Yes. And I hope when or when that comes back, I hope real love like our grandparents and back in the, you know, that type of love yes. is going to make a comeback. Yes. I believe it too. Yeah. I, I think it's here. I just don't have it yet. It's on the way. It's on the way. I, I I'm, I'm I'm or maybe I do. I don't know. Maybe I'm currently dating him. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I just know that you know. What kind of ring do you want, Sarah? I want a radiant cut. Right. I knew. <laughs> do y'all see how quick that she just said that? Wonder, because you know what you want already. Yes, I do. Okay. And if I don't go to the courthouse and I have a wedding dress, I have an idea of both of my dresses. So you're not the, I'm not saying this to be. But I could, I could, I oh. would do it. I would do it and go to on a trip. Let's go travel the world. Let's get out of here for two weeks. As long as my parents are there, that's all that matters to me. Sarah. I'm just paying for everybody else to eat and celebrate me. That doesn't make any sense. But it's the photos, so you'll you'll have a you'll have a setup photo because we photo all shoot. not know Sarah. No, she is gonna have a photo. <laughs> she is gonna re- recreate that wedding, Sarah, because you gonna have a. I mean, you definitely are gonna have a pretty wedding dress. I received. Like, I can are. see both. Yeah. I saw the reception dress and the the like this walk down. Say the she has two. Yeah. <laughs> Are I you changing it. at the reception too? For sure. There's two no, wardrobe no, no. changes. No, so there's one wardrobe change. I feel, okay. I wouldn't change at the that three is is a little hefty. I could get away with just just two. two. Okay. We, you know, because I want the Cinderella dress. I think mm-hmm. that's my walk yes. down the aisle dress. Yeah, you were in something. I don't. You were somewhere and you had the Cinderella. It was yes. so remember? It's the red one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I have this really beautiful black gown and nowhere to wear it to. It's like. We're going to get invited to some get. That's the other thing. Yes. Where is the invite? I want to come to something nice where I could put my clothes on Let's and have go. a nice little something. We just got to throw it. We could do a fundraiser. We could. We could. What's some Ella? So if you are an eligible man and you are watching this podcast, <laughs> or if you have a son, an uncle, a brother, or a father that is watching we can this date podcast, forward it and drop their name in the comments. Because <laughs> I ain't too listen. Somebody out here, listen. I have another question. Uh-oh. As far as dating goes, mm-hmm. do you believe in a 50-50 household? <laughs> if you're dating a more feminine man. Whew. 
I believe in it, but do I want that? I'm going to be honest. I'm tired. <laughs> I am tired. I am a hardworking woman who always, because I've been so strong, I got to be honest, I am tired. Tired, Bob. I don't want to always think about it. And that's where I'm on the fence about the masculine men thing, because if he's undecisive, like I need for you to think for our house. That's masculine. I because I am tired. <laughs> I am tired. And I need for that man to take charge. Yeah. And so um Wait, these are two contradicting that's ideas. That's what I'm saying. That's so that's why that's why I ain't got nobody. <laughs> that's <laughs> why. That's why I ain't got nobody right now. Okay. Because I'm I'm on the it, it, it like this. So I need him to take charge. But then I still got to do some work on me yeah. because I'd be like, who do you think you're talking to? Like, I'm that person. I'd be like, oh, no, I, you need to. So do you want him to take charge? Do you want to split the bills 50-50? I, I don't. I don't. I don't either. I do not. Mm-hmm. But then when that, you know what? But, okay. So I don't want to split the bills 50-50. But remember, I said, I make a mean reservation and all of that. That man going to want me to cook. Yeah. He going to want me to do some things. It's and true. So, I, so 50-50 it is. So the 50-50, how about like 75-25? I give you 25. <laughs> I, got, I got a dime on it. <laughs> Okay. Give me 10%. Right, right. Can we get do 10%? Let me do 10%. Like the tabs and offer. I get my 10% to the Lord and 10% to the household. And then the rest. I feel like let me do vacations. Let me do like yes. wardrobe. Let me do, let me dress the oh. kids. Let me get the okay. tutor. Let me do the so homeschooling. Yes. My kids are going to be trilingual. Oh, okay. You know? Okay, I got to Yeah, you know, like all the things. Let me let me let me do that. You pay the bills, which honestly is a win. Cuz we're talking about mortgage and bills versus all of the things that I just named. Yeah. Oh, but the only thing I say with that is I remember that some women that have done that when uh-huh. their spouses pass, they yeah. are a mess because they didn't know how to I didn't say don't tell me. I'm not uh, saying okay, don't know you. how to balance a checkbook. Right, because I've done that up until this point. Yeah. Oh. So I feel like I've already did my prerequisite. Yeah. So now, Lord, please send them. But I, but I don't know what who who is he sending. I want him. God let's knows. let's talk about it. Eligible. Okay. Tay is 47. Ooh. Fine, successful, incredible energy, empowered. In yes, yes, yes. This girl is literally. I keep saying, girl. This woman. Oh. This queen. This goddess is one of the most genuine, kind, loving spirits I've ever met and will also fight for you, okay? Yeah, with you and for you. Yeah. Like with you in the sense of like, what is it that you want to get and she's going to help you yeah. get with it, right? Um, but what is your type? To your husband that's listening. He's going to go back and watch this one day and be like, oh, that's my wife right husband, there. Husband, if you're watching... <laughs> What I'm about to tell you, don't put it in stone because it may change. <laughs> but husband, I just need a husband that is going to cheer for me. Oh. I, I need him to be like, uh, remember Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade and oh. they, they were doing the, the put up the sign. Like I need to be speaking at an event and y'all look out in the audience and like, there go to husband because oh. he's like, yeah, that's my girl. I need him to big up me. Okay. Um, so words of affirmation is words important. Of, yes, that is important. Um, and I need him to be affectionate. I need him to be confident in who he is. Yeah. Because being in media, I need you not to be my friend because mm. you're like, <gasps> you know, Sarah. Mm-hmm. I, All the people. Uh, you know like, everybody. I, yeah, I, yeah, and I don't want that. Yeah. Like, I, I, I want him to be, I want him to be like, who? You know, like mm-hmm. that part. Um, yeah. And I need him to love God. How can I forget that? Because mm. if he really have a relationship with God. Oh, say that. Because I have uh, dated people that were of the ministry. Mm. And didn't know God. Not one they day. did not. They, they know how to preach and inspire others. But I have to question what they know of God because you wouldn't love or treat a woman the way that you do if you truly had a true relationship with God. Mm. So, yeah. And that's the barometer. The barometer of integrity is to God and not to yourself. Because we as humans, we're flawed and we fail every single time. 
<laughs> okay, so we have to shift gears here. Uh-oh. Okay. We have a very fun part of the show. Oh, I like this because I know what's supposed to happen. Yes, it is called It's Giving okay. versus It's Giving. <laughs> and I'm going to give you something, um, a scenario, and I'm mm-hmm. going to give you a positive versus a negative, mm-hmm. and you have to tell me which it's giving and why. Okay. You are in, you are dating, oh. but you have just decided to be exclusive with the person. Okay. And now that you are exclusively dating this person, he says, I need you to post me on your social media. It's giving, homeboy, are you on drugs? What just happened? We just started dating. No. Mm-hmm. Or it's giving, oh, he wants to profess his love for me publicly. Okay. It's giving, he wants to profess his love for me publicly. But bruh, you got to be strong because they're coming for you in them comments. They, they're definitely, there's some people that are going to have some questions. You would do it? You'd post it? Yeah, Brand if, new. If we're exclusive. Uh-huh. Because, yeah. Because if we're exclusive, then that means I need to make sure that I have shut some doors so that people, you know, because I don't want this man to be out. Yeah. I think the worst thing a woman can do is allow a man to be in your presence yeah. and another man walk up to you. Uh, and you're like, oh, this is so-and-so. Yeah. No, because if they already pick up, they'd be like, oh, he ain't just a friend like y'all. <laughs> right, right, so right. So I, I don't ever want to, because I don't want to be out there looking crazy like that. So I, w- I would allow it to happen and, and allow it to post. And plus, I'm going to need to know because my crew rolls deep. Yes. So just in case I miss somebody we in the announcement, questions. then somebody might be like, oh, yo, did you know that? Because I might have missed something. You do it? Yeah. I don't think I'm posting until I'm married. I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm posting up. I'm posting up. Okay. Yeah, I'm posting up. I'm posting up. Okay, here's another one. Okay, what we got? You're on your first date with a man. Okay. And he's so handsome. He's so cool, calm, collected. Mm-hmm. He's nurturing. He's attentive. He's thoughtful. Mm-hmm. And while you guys are at dinner, he finishes his drink and decides to grab yours and start drinking it. <laughs> it's giving. It's giving. Did he just grab my cup? This is the last date we'll ever be on. Or it's giving. Damn, who raised you? But let me teach you how to be better. Mm-mm. It's giving. The first one is you crazy. I don't know where your lips have been. This is our first date. You might have just been on somebody else. And germs are real. Uh, yeah. Uh, exactly. It's giving. Oh, that is it, bro. Like, <laughs> and you probably cheat because you was drinking my drink. Get your own <laughs> cheap self. No, uh uh-uh. uh. No, it's giving. Mm. Oh my God. Mm-mm. Ew. No. No. I don't even, even in a relationship, it's got to be a minute. Like, you're all on my straw. Like, what is that? Yeah. No. It's like, Ugh, saliva. Would you drink after your person when you're in a relationship? I'm funny. Like, <laughs> Because you had that's why I ain't a mom. Because when I see people are like, oh, and I watch the kids take it and they put their crumbs and stuff. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. I have a weak stomach for sure. I can't. Yeah. I love you, but no. I'd be like, oh no. I'm the one that's like, they'd be like, oh. And I'm like, you know what? You can have it. Yeah, right. Because I'm like, no. I, you know, have it. That's no. yours. That's My right. Lauren is like that. <laughs> Lauren would be like, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm don't, don't eat like, no, nothing, nothing after me. Don't COVID drink after me. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope, nope, nope. No. Okay. <laughs> One more. Okay, got of it. It's giving. Okay, let's give it. You meet a guy online. Which I have. Okay. I'm an online dater. Okay. I've got some stories. Okay. 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 Yeah, so yeah. you finally are about to meet in real life. <laughs> and when you meet him in real life, he doesn't open your door. Mm. He doesn't walk street side, as in he's not chivalrous. Oh, my grandfather would have he doesn't, oh, he doesn't. He doesn't open the restaurant doors. He doesn't do any of the things that show that he is a true gentleman that we've learned from the internet. Mm-hmm. It's giving, you were raised by wolves and you'll never see me again. <laughs> or it's giving, oh, no one has taught you, but I can teach you this. It depends on how fine he is. I'm going to be honest. Because <laughs> <laughs> if he fine, fine. And in this day and age, maybe somebody didn't raise him. So yeah. I'll just stand in front of the door and look. I'll wait too, actually. I'll wait, you know, because I don't want to miss out on it because maybe he wasn't raised right. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, so I'm, I, I'm, I'm gonna give him a break on that one. I didn't realize that I I wait. Like I, I like when I'm walking and, and ladies, if you guys want to try this as well, but one of the things that I realize is that when I'm walking, um, you know, I walk and I kind of like step to the side so he can open the door. Mm-hmm. And then when I walk in the door and I like curve out, out of the, cause you know, if you just keep running straight, I'd walk to, why would I going to go walk to the, the door? No, I, I move to the side and, and then he kind of just goes behind me and like opens the next door. And then I go and I'm like, Oh my God, thank you so much. Such a well, I dated somebody and they said, I can tell you ain't used to nothing. And I said, why do you say that? Oh. Because I had been in a space where I would always open up the door. Like I would just hop out and do the stuff myself. And he was like, no, no, no. Oh. He was like, who have you been used to? Yeah. And he made me realize, I'm like, you know what, you're right. Yeah. So, no, I'm not doing it. And my grandfather would have a fit. Yeah. Do you open the car door for them when you get in? Oh, I definitely do that. Yeah. I do. I'm like, doop, doop. Like, I have to make sure that, you know, I make sure he's good. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I'm happy that I thought you were going to say you do an online dating and you show up. And the person doesn't look like what you thought. Have you had that? I have. I, it was my space. Did you space. go through with the date? Well, it was my space and the person traveled from out of town to meet me. And I was, we had the best conversation, like really, really best conversations. And I hadn't met him. And when we went to the public space, he looked like Bone Crusher. And Bone Crusher, you were handsome, but he looked like Bone Crusher. And he like failed to t- like... And so I was like, mm-hmm. and I couldn't go through with it. And I felt so bad, but I couldn't. Yeah. And we had the best conversations. Online. Um, no, I mean, we online and then we talked on the phone and we like had the best conversation. But I just realized that at that moment, I feel like had he had just told me maybe because I'm very accepting, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. had he told me it would have been all right. Yeah. And then I dated someone online or I met this guy online and the angle. So ladies, be careful about the angle. So I was on Facebook dating. Yeah, I use that. And his angle. And I didn't look at the height because I don't think he put it on there. We met at a grocery store and low key, no lie, that man was a midget. (laughs) He was a midget. (laughs) And I said, sir, and it's nothing again. I'm not saying it was the fact that he didn't tell me. Right. And then when he met me, you know what this fool had the nerve to say? No. Oh, well, you're you're dateable big. Sir? Did you? Because he was like, you didn't look as big as you do. You... In your pictures, you look smaller, but you're dateable. You're dateable. Sir, well, you ain't dateable height <laughs> with your little short midget self. So <laughs> the, the people be lying on the thing. You got to be careful with stuff Dang. like that. And the late and we met at a grocery store. Rude. And the lady in the aisle came up to me and she said, "Ma'am, I did not mean to be listening to your conversation, but you handled yourself well." I said, "Cause that man was a whole midget, right? I, I could have punched him. I, I could have just." <laughs> but he called me dateable fat. Ain't that some He said, "You're dateable. Your weight is dateable." So, yeah. So I'm happy. Yeah. So dating online, I'm an advocate for dating online. I have met some amazing people online, but you really have to, like, you have to have good questions. Yeah. To do that. So you gotta be careful. For sure. You can't date online. That's not. I've never dated online. Why well, can't I date online? No, no. I'm not an online dater, though. I feel like. Mm. I I feel like. No. Mm. But I feel like most of my girlfriends are online. But you can't because it's just different. Because you're the – you, yeah, we hate to be – like works for us and doesn't work for you. But it <laughs> That's what it you. sounds like. I don't know why this doesn't work for me. It doesn't because I feel like – because people – and I think you'll see through it. Oh, like people just want to hook up. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, nah, nah, nah. No. And so, you know. I get that. Yeah. That's what I've heard. I've heard I've heard it's definitely, you know, people right. like to have fun on there. But, th- but there's people that are serious. I met somebody that's really nice and I met them online. Ah. So I said, if that's my husband and we get married, then our wedding announcements will be a social media, like a little invite that's yes, like a social media thing. I love online. that. So, yeah. I, it's funny because you said MySpace. I know. I'm old. Of course I'm. I I had MySpace. You know what my song was on MySpace? This yeah, because that's how you used to but this is This is how much of a square I've always been. Okay, are you ready for this? What was it? Are you going to sing it? It was a poem. What was it? Did you know? No, it was called, it was a poem by the Commoners of Kings. And it said, <laughs> ah! 
it's actually really quite beautiful when you think about it. I will have this memorized because I loved it so much, but it said, make love to me, but don't touch me. Make love to me, but don't touch me. Push into me without thrusting. Want from me a thrilling rest from me, but keep your flesh far from me. Mm. And then it said, I want to tell you a story about love. And then it went on to say this beautiful, and I was like, ooh, like And this. that was your MySpace when yes, people pulled up? That's what I said. Like, people can't fool with you, Sarah. Like, you, you <laughs> take a strong man to deal with. Who in MySpace? We were young. Yeah, that's what I'm so, saying. So if you were thinking like I've this. always been a square. I have always been a square my entire life. Well, we like I just square. wear feathers now, but I'm I'm still the we same love, square. We, you love, know? Your, we <laughs> love your square, and it's what makes you Sarah, so we wouldn't change Thank it for you. the world. So, yeah, Thank so, you. Yeah. I wish people knew. I was like, drop it like, I feel like I was a fop thought. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> my I think man. I had juvenile. My man. I think I was, I, I had girl. something like that on there, and I was like, you know, the pose where you're like. Yeah, yeah, that was our version. That song was our version of like the sexy red song. <laughs> and the sad part is. I don't even know half of those people. I don't either. I'd be like, who is that? I don't either. I don't know. I heard it. I was at an event after uh, an event, but it was at like a mm-hmm. club lounge or whatever. And obviously there's a DJ and all the music. I, and I said, did she just say my pee pink and my booty is brown? I got paid off of it. And okay. she's. it was such a high streaming song. Mm. I was so confused. The things that our children, I just... That, see, that's what scares me too. Do I need to have kids? I don't know but that your I want to put will them be, you through You just this. said they're going to be trilingual and yeah, all They that. will be. So the whole thing is your kids are going to be different. Like they'll come over to Auntie's house yeah. and they'll be like, my mom says that we can listen to that type of thing. <laughs> Not the accent. So I'll be like, hey kids, like, okay. I'll be in the car. <laughs> the kids bop version. Yeah, I'll have yeah, to do yeah, something yeah. else because your kids def- your kids mm-hmm. won't even do kid bop, I don't think. And they would. No, I think your kids are going to be like, or. They're gonna be like Mozart, tri- yeah. but they're gonna be such cute kids, <laughs> so cute kids. I can't wait. So coming soon, when Sarah has a baby, that's like it's going down. The best baby shower. It's ever. going down. Oh, I like, can't. It's that like would it be is. cute. It's Could you funny. imagine having a baby shower with a surrogate? Where I'm like my baby, like acting like it's my belly. But I can see that. Moment. You will create whatever is supposed to be. I'll be like wear a bag on your face. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, is it? <laughs> Did Sarah say she was going to put a bag on the lady face? You can't even let us see who the target is. You're not going to. I'm going to hell in a handbasket for that one. Ooh, I don't know why that just cracked me up. Ooh, I'm sweating. Because you could see it. The thing I about you is that you're a visionary. I see it. So you're laughing because all of us would be like, why is this I lady like here? This is my with- <laughs> rubbing her stomach. Oh, my gosh. Okay. With the two little eyeballs. Out. Let right. the lady at least see, see. and breathe. Out yeah. There. Just a hat and some shades. I'm but just would kidding. you would you, would you this I don't even know why this question came to my mind. But would you let someone you know care no. the child for you? I doubt it. My best friend, she said, I want you to have a baby. I would carry it for you. That's beautiful. I'm like, oh friend. But then remember, I'm the person that gave the dog to my mom. So yeah. she, I was like, friend, uh, you're gonna have the baby then. You have it for us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that yeah. Part, yeah. yeah. So, no, I I doubt it. Okay. Honestly, it. Uh, I was about to say something, and then I was like, "Sarah, you're still on camera." <laughs> I was like, "I thought this was after." Don't birth. say <laughs> it. But I thought about something for sure. It'd probably be a woman that is. Uh-huh. And so, thank you so much for allowing <laughs> me to be on. It's giving. Final question. Okay, what is it? here at It's Giving? We believe in evolution and growth and all of the things to become the best version of ourselves. And one of the ways that we do that is through reading or listening to books. And so, with that question, Ooh. what book has changed your life and why? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Sarah Jakes Roberts Ooh. Lost and Found. It was one of her original, um, like when she first started writing, like way before the Sarah Jakes that she was Sarah Jakes then, she wasn't even Sarah Jakes Roberts then, Mm. um, and Lost and Found, just her, um, her being able to be transparent in her story in such a way, um, being, you know, she was a teenage mother. She, her father was a pet, she was in church, all those things, um, but she was lost and then God found her. And it was just the fact that um, 
she gave, she reminded me that no matter what, because I was an awful teenager. Mm, my mom, I true. was the worst to my mom, which is probably why God didn't give me kids because he was like, your kids going to be they gonna be worse than you. Yeah. Um, and I wasn't the best teenager for my mom. And so um, in that, reading that, it allowed me to realize that things can evolve. And so it helps me uh, repair the relationship with my mom. It was like a lot of things that that book really changed my life. And yes. so um, when I had opportunity to meet her, she was like, you read? And I was like, yeah. Like, she was like, you really read that? Um, because there's things that just resonated and it changed my life. So I yeah. love that. it's a great book. So they should read it. Okay. I love it. Well, thank, thank you so much, Tay, for thank coming for on the me. show, for blessing us. We heard so much about being authentically and transparently who you are, choosing to be optimistic, releasing what doesn't serve you, dating, being a mature woman, not settling, waiting and being patient for that right person to come along, making sure that we don't have leaking energy, but we are intentional about the way that we stand for ourselves and for others. And I just want to say thank you so much for coming on. And if you guys watch the show today, thank you so much for joining. If you haven't yet, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you made it this far, you're part of the family now. You know, you might as well just join the family, but we love you. We love you. We love you. And in case no one has told you you are freaking phenomenal bomb.com nothing can stop you but you but you got to do something about it love you guys mm.